Welcome to the Ansible module. Till now, you have already gained massive knowledge and skills in different DevOps technologies and concepts. As a continuation of the projects in all the previous modules, we will use Ansible to further automate and optimize DevOps processes. So learning Ansible will take you another level up in your DevOps expertise and help you really stand out with your skills. Ansible next to Terraform is one of the most popular infrastructure as code and configuration management tools currently used in IT projects. And while you've already learned Terraform to automate provisioning servers, in Ansible module, you will learn how to automate configuring these servers, installing different tools on them, configuring operating system and deploying applications. So in this module, you will learn all the important concepts of Ansible with best practices and specific examples. And you will learn all these with hands-on demo projects. So by the end of the module, you will know exactly how to use Ansible in your own projects to automate any type of infrastructure automation and configuration tasks. So let's see what you will actually learn in this section of the bootcamp during an almost eight hour Ansible module. We will start with the core concepts of Ansible, such as Ansible inventory, Ansible ad hoc commands, and the basic syntax of an Ansible playbook, as well as how to use Ansible configuration file to change the default Ansible behavior. After that, we will learn some of the most common Ansible modules for installing tools on a server, configuring applications, working with a file system, moving static files between machines, etc. And essentially, you will learn how to map and translate shell scripts and commands into Ansible playbooks to automate various common DevOps tasks. And for comparison, we will configure servers with different Linux distributions on AWS and DigitalOcean platforms. You will also learn about Ansible collections and Ansible Galaxy. As a next step, you will learn how to use Ansible variables to make your playbooks customizable and also see all the different ways of setting the variable values in Ansible. While writing these playbooks, we'll also see how to troubleshoot the results and how to use conditionals and privilege escalation when needed. After that, we will dive into more advanced topics. We will configure dynamic inventory for dynamically getting the EC2 server addresses from AWS instead of statically hard coding them. This is a very useful concept when working with modern dynamic infrastructure. You will also learn how to execute Ansible playbooks from a Terraform script directly after provisioning a new infrastructure to completely automate infrastructure provisioning and configuration steps. In addition to that, we will use various Docker modules in Ansible to work with Docker images and containers, as well as learn about Kubernetes module to automate configuring Kubernetes cluster and deploying components in it. In another demo project, we will integrate Ansible in the Jenkins CI-CD pipeline to automate application deployment with a production grade setup. In the final demo project, you will learn how to make your Ansible content more reusable and modular with Ansible roles. So you know how to write more maintainable Ansible code for more complex projects. Of course, as part of the configuration as code concept, we will host our Ansible project in a Git repository and add playbooks from all the demo projects there. So by the end of the module, you will end up with a nice Ansible project portfolio. As you see, you don't learn Ansible just as a standalone tool in the bootcamp, but rather integrated in different technologies like Docker, Kubernetes, Terraform, Jenkins, AWS, and so on in various real world use cases as it builds on the previous modules in the bootcamp. I'm already excited to teach you all of this, so let's get started.